Hi guys. Okay, so it has been very eventful today uh, with my EDS update. Um, so uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this. You probably don't because I've never worn glasses on camera. Um, I do have contact lenses and one of my contact lenses ended up disappearing this morning, so I only have one good eye, and unfortunately, it's my bad eye that I have left to use. So it's a little bit off for me seeing, um, and I was trying to get into Vision Works to get my eyes done, and my insurance company says they cover for the eye exam, and then everything else has to get pre-authorized. So then I explained to them that I have Ehlers Downloads and I waited for the callback, which was inevitable. And the callback was, we're not touching you. You need to see a optometrist. So I called the insurance company again and got an optometrist. I think I'm saying it right. And then the secretary there decided to email the doctor and it's a possibility that I might end up having eye surgery because we don't know what the Ehlers Downloads has been doing to my eyes since most of my life I've been almost completely blind. Um, my contact lenses have been a script of negative 9.5 and negative 8.5. So needless to say, I'm pretty much blind. Um, 10, negative 10 is completely blind. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge hopefully um, with everything going on i can do everything that's needed and everything else um, and i'm also dealing with back pain and seeing my orthopedic doctor about that who then decided to tell me that i probably have the back pain because i'm sitting in a wheelchair i didn't like hearing that, obviously, because I'm in the wheelchair for safety reasons, um, and my strength is not up to par anymore as what it was about two, three years ago. Uh, in fact, uh, around four years ago, I was actually working on a roof and doing that as, you know, some some form of, you know, activity, and I wasn't able to do that anymore. Um, and I also realized that a lot of people do not understand invisible illnesses, such as Ehlers-Danlos or my, uh, foul, uh, you know, pain one, um, fibromyalgia. A lot of people don't understand that. Uh, I'm currently on Lyrica, which is used for nerve pain, diabetic nerve pain, fibromyalgia, and they're adding to the list Ehlers-Danlos. Um, since I have the hypermobility type, there is way too many things that can go wrong with me. Um, I show signs of the classical EDS without having the genetic link that they can see in my DNA, but I have the signs of it with having the bad veins and possibly having heart problem and getting checked out for um, POTS is what it's called. Um, but if I wasn't diagnosed with EDS, I would be told that I have hypertension. So because I have EDS, the name of this disorder gets changed. I don't know how that really works um, but all I do know is that it is very difficult for me to sit up or stand up without losing balance because I get lightheaded. Um, I currently have my room set up where the bed is on the floor because if I get up too quickly or sit up wrong I have a safe place to land. Um, I also have rearranged the furniture because this way I have hand holds um, all along the wall from you know, the door of the bedroom almost to the front door and where the bathroom is at so that I don't fall. So it's kind of hard when I hear people try and not 
understand is basically what it is. But I hear rudeness from people about people in wheelchairs who don't need them. Um, things about, oh, you're on social security, you just sit around on your ass. And I know that that's not true because, in all honesty, I'm making phone calls to doctors, I'm doing my PT, I'm reading my book, I'm writing down the exercises, uh, I'm having my husband help me with the exercises, I'm trying to find a PT that can put my bones back into place and show me and Jesse how to do that. I also have um, a doctor come in who's a psychiatrist, I have a nurse who comes in. Um, who is part of that team and helps manage different things. I mean, there's so many people in and out of this house and phone calls that get made that quite literally I am my own secretary <laughs> and my own bookkeeper when it comes to like writing down appointment times and, and things like that. And it does get to be very, very hectic. Um, I'm not going to lie about that because it's hard to do. It's hard to keep up. Um, as of right now, I've had uh, the pattern of ending up in Philadelphia at the University of Penn uh, one to two times a month. Uh, I see my rheumatologist every four months. I see my family doctor when I need referrals. And I'm starting to see a cardiologist this month. And I also see the psychiatrist uh, one to two times a month. I see my nurse at least once a week. I get phone calls on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. No, Monday, Thursday, Sunday is when I get my phone calls to check in on me. Um, and then I also now am trying to get an eye doctor and then I'm trying to see if I have to have surgery. Hopefully I qualify because this surgery is really, really awesome. Um, they permanently implant contact lenses into my eyes. Um, the, what I'm told is that it's for people who have negative eight or above prescription lenses, which I do. And then they also have to check the back of my eye to see if my retina is detaching or to see if my eye is detaching from the stem itself that leads up to the brain. So that's going to be fun. And then I also have to try and find a new neurologist because the last neurologist did the EMG and said, I'm done. There's nothing else for you. And I'm possibly within the next three months going to be seeing a spine specialist for my back pain because the orthopedic doctor basically said it's because I'm sitting in the wheelchair and it's not because I've had this pain all my life. Um, the x-rays do not show anything abnormal per se, but he did say that it was matching for somebody who's my size, the alignment. So in other words, it was lined up perfectly for a fat person. Um, I know that a lot of people are embarrassed by that term being fat, but they're in all honesty, even though I have lost so much weight because I'm not able to eat as much as everybody else, I still consider myself fat because I'm overweight. I'm not the weight I'm supposed to be. Um, a healthy weight has a BMI of 25. My BMI is 31. So I don't like the term obese. I'd rather, or um, what was it? They called me morbidly obese at one point in time when I was very, very sick. Uh, before I was diagnosed, I was called morbidly obese. Um, I don't like the word morbidly because all it seems to do is to strike fear into somebody and make them feel ashamed, make them feel not normal. And, and that hurts because 
I strive very hard to look normal. I strive very hard to act normal, to walk normal. And it's very, very hard when somebody can look at you and know that you're not normal. I wear the, uh, the mask when I am outside or when the window is open. I can't even smoke cigarettes like I used to. I am on a v uh, an e-cig and sometimes even that's too much for my lungs to handle. So it's very, very hard and trying to get everything set up for me to go and possibly have eye surgery so that I can see without being damaged. Um, it's an amazing prospect for me and I hope that they can do it. So I hope you guys have a good day and also um, if you've noticed there are a couple tags in other videos of mine where I have listed uh, a way to help me by showing you guys my Amazon wish list. Um, my Amazon wish list actually has things that I need for my disorder that currently I'm not able to get myself. Um, I do work hard at trying to get these things by using my phone to get Amazon money and things like that but if anybody has ever tried doing stuff that way you know that it takes a lot of time and the payout is usually not as much as you need so it's hard to do it but I I do that because it's the only thing I can do while I'm sitting here stuck in bed I'm not able to do much of anything else I don't think that I'm skilled enough to attempt to make jewelry like some people have. I'm, I have to be in the mood to draw, so drawing and painting is out of the question. So right now my creative outlet has become coloring and doing my nails. Um, and that's my creative outlet that I have so that I can try and remain sane basically so I will attempt to link the wish list in the description below so that you guys can see the stuff that I'm actually trying to get uh, a lot of it is physical therapy related for me to be able to do the different things that I need to do um, one of them that I am very very hard trying to get is the um, the pedals that are on the that sit on the ground it's like a bike pedal and I can sit in my wheelchair and pedal because I have not ridden a bike in almost 10 years I tried once at physical therapy uh, before I left that group that I was going to physical therapy with and it hurt so bad so I am attempting to challenge my body to accept the fact that I do have to move, that I do have to exercise, and that eventually I want to ride a bike. I don't know if I'll be able to do one of the regular seated bikes. Um, I saw a bike once that had a chair seat, sorry, like my wheelchair, and that is one that I'm very interested in trying to get at some point in time because I don't care if it's used or not I that type of stuff is something that I basically need to try and do so hopefully things work out all right thank you guys and have a pleasant day